So you just soak the gelatin in cold water to let it hydrate. Ice water. Ice water. Less, and you just kind of let it sit for a few minutes. This is the, the agar. Uh, oh, I mean right. agar agar powder. Your agar and your sugar. I'm just going to bring that up to a boil. So when that comes up, we'll add our blue gelatin. Very important to squeeze the excess liquid out of gelatin because it will affect the uh, ratio of your mixture kind if you don't. It, yeah. Yeah. And then you can just pour it over into a bowl and ice it down. So that's going to become very, very firm um, to the point where it's very brittle. So this will be firm mm -hmm. and once it's uh, firm enough so that you're, you can break it off and lift it off and do all that jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to blend it in a blender on very high mm. uh, until it becomes completely fluid. Okay. This is after it's blended. So you see it's there's still, paste. you can still kind of, it can hold the shape of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to make the discs. So we have a very thin one and it just takes practice. Now we have the strip of acetate down. Um, and we want to get the same amount of thickness. The shape you're forming is almost like a petri dish. Yeah, almost. Right? So you just have it here, taped up, and you just put it on and you press it. Tape up here. It doesn't matter, we're going to remove it afterwards. And so you're going to freeze it like this. It freezes, it freezes as a piece, so you get like a tart shell made of ice, essentially. Easier. The rest of it wasn't with gel. <laughs> so this... Take it out of the freezer, or like you have your disc here. Wow, look at that. And you have to work pretty fast. Um, again, this is where the gelatin is handy. So, we want to pipe our ice cream into it. Not as cold, obviously. That's just fine sea salt, isn't it? Yeah. So, we have our butter that's melted. So, we're adding just all our ingredients together. But here, we're making a mixture that's later compressed in a cryovac machine. In a what machine? In a sous vide machine. A sous vide machine, okay. We have milk powder, sugar, flour, cornstarch. So you see it's, it's quite dry. You, know, you, you really want to get your hands into it. Mm. We want to just bake it off into small clumps like this. So that you oh, get that small. Okay. Yeah, something like that. These are the crumbs. You see how they're very light. Yeah. So we want to cover it here. And it's important that these pieces are large. So this is our sorrel juice. Make sure that when you juice the apples, you juice it with, um, put some citric acid um, in, in the bowl. Otherwise, it, it goes the brown. apple juice will go very brown. And this is the dill oil? This is the dill oil. Okay. Wow, See, it's quite green very as well. Green. So we just put it down like that. And you compress it slightly. Yeah. Okay. And so we just cover it with the sorrel juice. And it's very important that there's a good ratio of juice to um, ice because you need that balance of this acidity. This is very acidic. That's very minimalist and it's uh, very clean. Simple.